Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here on What Do You Think This Is? <laughs> well, these are brown capsules. Uh, and let's see, take one of these here. And open it up here and take a little taste. Tastes like the ocean. <laughs> If you've ever been, you know, diving or anything in the ocean, it is that salty, fishy, seaweedy kind of flavor that is, uh, it is recognizable as soon as you taste it. There's no doubt about it. And then, uh, I like it, tell you the truth. And I love, you know, vegetable seaweed uh, sushi, which is really great. And I love the seaweeds in general. But this is bladder rack. Bladder rack. B l a d d e r w r a c k, and it's a specific type of uh, seaweed which has little bladders which uh, grow on the usually on the northeast area of the United States in the in the ocean, and uh, they've been really uh, commonly used for a long, long time. It's a brown class of algae and the phytophytes types of algae and it really has a lot of healing qualities to it. I mean, amazing the healing qualities. And uh, the healing qualities go back to the early 19th century and they knew about kelp and uh, they actually used to burn kelp and make it into, you know, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. Very interesting. I thought that that was kind of like the first way that they made baking soda. And it thrives all over the world and around Europe and the British Isles. It likes the Baltic area. It likes cold water for the most part. Uh, it has a lot of nicknames, uh, black rack, uh, red fucus, rockweed, black tang. The botanical name is fucus vitulosus, and uh, it is wonderful stuff contains almost 3,000 micrograms of iodine in, the, uh, in a half an ounce or so. Really a small amount of bladderwrack will give you a lot of iodine, which is really great. I mean, it's hard to get enough iodine these days, and I think it's really important. And it also contains lots of antioxidants and minerals and beta carotene, which is powerful antioxidant, potassium, magnesium, calcium, lots of iron, calcium for strong bones, iron for anemia, magnesium for all kinds of enzyme pro pro processes that go on in the body. It also has a uh, mucilage, which is important for good digestion and uh, everything in the body, really. It, almost everything uses that mucilage. And to have some of the B vitamins and A and C vitamin uh, and K, well, a lot of K, and vitamin E. It has fructoxanthine in it, which is a powerful antioxidant. And fructofluorethanol compounds, which are another powerful antioxidant. And fluorotannins, which are another powerful antioxidant. And a lot of polysaccharides and sulfur compounds, which are found in, you know, all of the different types of uh, things like cabbage and broccoli and that type of thing, the sulfur sulfonic type of uh, plants. This little beautiful agent helps with thyroid improvement. And if you have hypothyroidism, you want to make sure you get a lot of iodine. And in a plant-based form like this, it's really a great way to get it because <laughs> it's natural. And it goes back to cooking up the thyroid so it produces lots of hormones and gets the activity under control instead of being sluggish. And so bladder rack is one of those really great uh, kelps that will do your body good. And it helps to increase hormonal production. I'll get into that a little bit more. And also, lots of antioxidants, which help to prevent disease and help to prevent uh, DNA damage and repair DNA damage so you prevent disease. So that's really good. 
Lots of fiber, lots of fiber and bladder rack. And you can eat this too, you know, if you find it on the coast in a protected area that doesn't have heavy metal. And a lot of people actually eat it. It does have a very strong flavor. <laughs> this fishy type of thing. But uh, a lot of people, you know, when they get it, they can actually roast it on their campfire and that type of thing. And people do eat it. There's no... And, People eat, uh, you know, washed up bull kelp on the on the beach too. It actually changes its flavor when you when you cook it. So it's very different. Also, it slows the, the aging process because it has a lot of antioxidants in it, and it helps with age spots and wrinkles and unsightly skin blemishes and that type of thing. So that's really good, especially you women want to make sure you look good and uh, and you look youthful. It also helps with goiter because it has lots of iodine, and uh, I think this is one of the better ways to get a lot of iodine in your diet. Most people are deficient in iodine. I have to say, I have to say, the majority of people are de deficient in iodine. Also, you know, going back to 1811, there was a lot of a, a goiter, and they started recommending people eating a lot of bladder rack, and that seemed to help a lot helps with weight loss. So bladder rack is one of those things that boosts up your metabolism and allows you to lose weight. There's no doubt about it. If you kick up your metabolism, you start boosting, losing the weight. And uh, it helps with obesity also. And so it can helps with appetite because you all that mucilage and fiber, you feel full and you don't feel like eating. So that's a really great thing. <laughs> A study done in Moscow found that if you take pomegranate seed oil with uh, the active agents in uh, bladder rack, they get, it helps with uh, promoting weight loss and increased liver function also. So, wow, that's amazing. Also, another study showed it was vital in uh, expelling fat from the body. And, and instead of having it absorbed, it actually let it go. So that's a great thing too. So another thing for bladder rack. It also helps you feel stated, as I say, and said. Also, beans do that, and if beans are one of those things that really make you feel full. And uh, you know, I substitute beans for meat in just about everything, and I love uh, chickpeas, you know, with your garbanzos and kidney beans, black beans, all kinds of beans, you know, pinto beans, everything, really great. Also, bladder rack is antibacterial and kills lots and lots of bacteria and helps with diabetes. Studies show that bladder rack may be useful in helping with diabetes. There was a study with 23 patients, uh, both, both sexes, uh, from 19 to 59 years of age, and they found that if they took 500 milligrams of bladder rack, that they decreased their insulin use and also their glucose values went down. So... And it also seems to pre prevent diabetes in general, so that's really great. Also helps with eye health if you want to be able to see until you're 150, <laughs> like me. Then you want to have a lot of bad bladder rack around and help that take that on a regular basis. And it has a lot of beta carotene in it, which is really good for the eyes. Of course, that's in uh, all the carrots and you know the orange vegetables and that type of thing too, especially uh, you know sweet potatoes and those type of things. Anything that's orange has a lot of beta carotene in it and helps to prevent macular degeneration and prevent the uh, formation of cataracts. So if you're one, one of the seniors, or you're getting up there, you maybe you're over 50, you want to make sure you start taking this as much as possible. Also, it's anti-inflammatory and uh, does a really great job for pain, swelling, and redness. And uh, skin irritation, it helps with hemorrhoids, it helps with uh, irritations in general. So it's another thing, you can take it and use it as a cream also, and you get a bladder rack or you can make your own. And it helps in conjunction with other things you might be taking too, maybe uh, boswellia and maybe activated charcoal, different things that help to detox the body at the same time too. You know, uh, this is a great detox detoxing agent for the blood at the same time and really does a great job of that too. Anything that has a lot of fiber and moves stuff through your body is really a good detoxer for the whole body in general. It has great 
anti-cancer capabilities also. The same Frucadin has a great ability to help with all kinds of things. Studies show that it has a ability to uh, get rid of viruses, and it's anti-tumor, and it's an anti-coagulant, and uh, help, helps with arthritis, and all kinds of different things. So, uh, really, another study showed that it uh, really helps to kill cancer and prevent the formation of tumors in general. And that was in the University of Tasmania in Australia. And also, it helps with heart health and it lowers cholesterol, which is a great thing. If anybody has high cholesterol, you want to take some bladder rack. And it helps to increase HDL cholesterol, which is a hard thing to do for a lot of people. So you want to kick up your HDLs and lower those LDLs as much as possible and prevent atherosclerosis and heart attacks and strokes. And so we can, you know, live that long life and <laughs> feel great till the end of our life for sure. Uh, another study about diabetes was done in Korea, at the um, it published in Nutrition Research and Practice, and showed that it actually did a great job of uh, increasing enzymes that were necessary for the production of uh, insulin and helped with di type two diabetes, and also it reduced blood sugar on a regular basis in another class, another study too really great for the skin. If you have dry skin, itchy skin, redness, flaking, and all that type of thing, uh, it, it does a great job of also increasing water in the skin so you have you know more youthful looking skin. And it helps with collagen too. It works in a way with all these different agents in the skin to make the collagen work better. And it tightens up the skin a little bit too. You can buy it in powdered form and you can, you, you can Put it into uh, your bath water. You can put it in wraps and make it in soaps and salts. Uh, you can put it in the facial scrubs. All kinds of th great things for detoxing the skin and making it more youthful. And also prevents excessive clotting, which is important. And it helps with blood-related disorders and it helps also to prevent strokes and uh, heart attacks too. It has a lot of vitamin K in it, so it helps to prevent osteoporosis. And a lot of people these days have a lot of osteoporosis because they're really not getting <clears throat> enough of good calcium, phosphorus, and other agent trace minerals to make their bones strong. You know, and eating a, a plant-based diet that really found, there were studies done showing that the more plants you eat and the less animal products you eat, the actual uh, was a lessening of osteoporosis. So that was really important. Great. And so there, here's another one. Good old, you know, bladder rack will help even, even more. Also, it uh, has algenic acid in it, which helps with constipation, brings uh, bulk to the stools, brings water into the stool, and makes it easy for uh, uh, the digestive process to happen and also easy to eliminate. It helps with uh, flatulence and bloating and cramping and uh, any other serious conditions. It can help with the stomach in gen general, would help with the ulcers also, because he has a mucil mucilaginous process that goes on to help to move everything through, and it's kind of a soothing balm to everything too. And also, the detoxing, detoxing agent for the blood in general, as I said. For women's health, this is really great because it helps to bring up the hormones, to produce more hormones. The iodine is really necessary for all the uh, agents, all the different hormone producing uh, areas of the body to produce our hormones so and all the glands. So we, we need iodine for, you know, good hormone balance. And also uh, thyroid production is necessary. If you have poor thyroid production uh, during pregnancy, you end up actually with the mother having blood pressure problems and there could be mental function problems in the unborn child too. So there's all kinds of different things. Also, for those who have fibrocystic breast disease, they find a bladder rack actually helps with that in a great way, so that's another thing to think about. So, also helps with, with people who have, women who have short periods and very minor periods, a little bit of spotting and not very much, and it's just not happening for them. Uh, taking 1.5 grams 
of day of bladder rack actually extended their period so that they could ovulate normally and and have a period and really uh, be um, fertile so they can have a child too. Also, it uh, helps with hormone uh, production so the person can conceive. Also, it's edible. You know, bladder rack is an edible plant, so if you want to cook it or eat it, you can. A lot of people find it's really too overwhelming as far as the flavor goes, but a lot of people like it also, so you might want to try it. Finding it, you can find it and ask for it. Just about any health food store will have it, but you can find it on Amazon and eBay and other places online, and it's very inexpensive, so you can buy it, and uh, you could even... Uh, take it home and dry it and grind it up if you want. As far as the forms goes, you can get it in capsules and powders and dried and fresh. And try to get it organic as much as possible because it can pull up a lot of you know, heavy metals into it. And so you don't want those at all, that's for sure. And the dose is about 500 milligrams daily. They actually did studies with people taking up to 4,000 milligrams a day, and they found there was no side effects whatsoever. I don't recommend that. <laughs> 500 is really a good, a good amount for the most part. It's uh, not for those who are pregnant or nursing or small children, and you can have an allergic reaction to just about anything, so remember that. And if you have an allergic reaction to iodine, you don't want to take this. And uh, it can prolong your bleeding times because it has a lot of vitamin K in it. So if you're going to have, you know, surgery, you don't want to take this uh, before, about a couple of weeks before. And if you have hyperthyroidism, you've already got enough iodine, you don't want to speed up your thyroid anymore. And that is related to diet, really. I've had a lot of people know that this is an autoimmune process, but stay away from the bladder rack if you're doing that. But for the most part, it really has no side effects whatsoever, and it's a really a great healing agent. So if you really want to kick up your iodine intake and feel great and balance your hormones, help your digestion, to help your thyroid, uh, so many different things to help you to stay away from osteoporosis, increase your uh, longevity with your eyes so you can see well, all kinds of things. You want to take some good old bladder rack, and that'll do your body good what, every single time. But remember one of the most important things that you can uh, give yourself every day and to give everybody around you is a little bit of love. And that is the most healing agent there is, you know, and also being a group of people who are loving and kind and giving and caring, that really is one of the most healing agents I've ever found. And so don't cocoon yourself and make sure you have a lot of loving, kind people around you and go out and make new friends and make that happen. That's important. If you want to get a hold of me, my phone number is 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. Nine one one nine. My email was drpaulhader at gmail. That's d r p a u l h a i d e r at gmail dot com. Uh, you can also text me at that uh, phone number. You can WhatsApp me with that phone number. You can uh, Skype me at drpaulhader. Also send me an invite. Uh, you can go to my. Uh, Facebook page at uh, Dr. Paul Hader. You can uh, get me with a message at the top there. And also, I uh, hope you'll click like there. <laughs> and please subscribe and tell other people about it. And I'm on a push to make 100,000 subscribers this year. I'm here to help you in any way, shape, or form. My consults are, you know, totally no, no charge. And would like to help you in any way I can. And uh, feel free to connect with me. Please watch the little ads. They help to bring a couple pennies in our direction. If you care to make a donation to further my research, I really appreciate that in, in a great way. You can either do that with a link down below, hit show more. All my, all my contact information is down there also. And if you go to my website at paulhater.com, that's www.paulhater.com. Everything is there, including my diet, which is next to the testimonials. 
and I would love to help you in any way, shape, or form. In fact, I've got a console coming up here in a, just a few minutes on Skype. So uh, help, help me spread the word, and I'll help you in whatever way I can. And, but remember, the most important thing is, I love you.